What is the greatest piece of advice you've ever received? Uh, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Uh, <laughs> um, Very good. Uh, I think we have the same mother. <laughs> yes, and that is surprisingly useful. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, no, I, you know, for me, you know, I, I don't know. Um, let me think. Uh, uh, the greatest piece of advice. Uh, it was probably uh, when I, when I received my very first career setback as an actor, um, uh, an actor named Austin Pendleton called me just to buck up my spirits. I, I had been fired from my very first job, mm. uh, and you know that was you know you, you, it, it's such a roller coaster as an actor. You know you 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 get that first job, and in my case it was uh, it was on Broadway in a in a you know as the lead in a Broadway show. I was like oh my gosh, you know this is my, I got my ticket, you know. And I got fired. How old were you? Um, and uh, and Austin called me and said, "John, I don't respect anybody who hasn't been fired at least once." And mm. and I know that sounds like a strange bit of advice, but what it it made me realize is um, everybody struggles. Um, everybody struggles, and and it's what you you learn from how you respond to those struggles. How old uh, were you when that happened? That happened when I was 18. 18. So relatively young. Relatively so young, great, but I, yeah. it was one of the formative experiences in my career. And I'm, and I'm actually really grateful for the experience now because it, it, uh, uh, it, was, it was like a, a, cold, uh, a, a, you know, a cold glass of water in your face. You know, it, was, it, was, it woke me up to what it actually uh, requires to succeed in this business, uh, and which was discipline, which is what I lacked at the time. Uh, and uh, you know, I, 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 like I said, it's it's changed my career since then because I, I understand how hard you really have to work and and how lucky uh, you are, at least in this business, in the acting business, to have a job at all. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So since that time. What other setback have you had, and how did you overcome that? Uh, I've had no other setbacks. Really, just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Everything has gone wonderfully well uh, since then. It's turned out absolutely uh, wonderfully well. Uh, no, I've had setbacks. I, I, nothing. Uh, I'm trying to think um, uh, of anything uh, specific. Uh, I mean, mostly, you know, you, I, I've had good years and and uh, in terms of work, and then uh, you know, and and. Projects that I that I had really high hopes for that didn't that didn't succeed or yes, didn't you do a string of pilots that didn't succeed? Oh yes, before yes. Two and a Half Men. Yes, and and to to some degree those pilots did succeed because they actually got on the air, mm -hmm. which is you know again you've overcome huge, huge odds just to get your pilot on the air, um, uh, but then to have them last you know less than a season is kind of tough mm -hmm. uh, uh, and. Uh, you know, but but interestingly, so you can really look at that two ways. You can look at that as you know, wow, I achieved this great thing, or that was a huge failure. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, interestingly, uh, uh, I always looked at it as an achievement, um, but there were others. <laughs> I, I recall reading an article at one point uh, in Newsweek talking about how um, this year, all of all the new TV shows. Um, uh, this bunch was going to fail because they had hired these these actors who uh, who killed their shows uh, and one and I was one of those actors apparently oh. I was like oh my gosh lovely <laughs> somehow I had acquired the nickname of show killer mm. um, which on some level you take as a as a as a as a, uh, a compliment just because it gives you power you know yeah, <laughs> it's like, uh, I'm killing shows. You know, all these, I can all ruin these anyone's show. Exactly. You know, all these, you know, incredibly talented people, they put their good work into it, but I killed it. <laughs> it took me to destroy the show. Um, so, uh, you know, I, 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 it was odd for me to suddenly see my career in this whole different light of these people who thought that I was the reason that things failed. And, um, and luckily, even at that time, I, I, I read that and it didn't hurt me. I, I found it funny. Um, uh, and actually wrote the, the the writer about it that uh, that I should be used as a as a weapon uh, sent to foreign countries to destroy their situation comedy capability. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, but you know I I I, I 
but obviously I knew it, 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 it wasn't the truth. And then, of course, right away, the next show that I did, Two and a Half Men, ended up succeeding beyond, beyond anybody's expectations.